Great Northern Power was frequently used to move freight from Minneapolis to Chicago. Here a five-unit matched set of EMD power heads through Downers Grove. Chicago has a variety of electric-powered commuter lines. In 1962, the predominant suburban service interurban line was the Chicago North Shore and Milwaukee Railway. The railroad was in the throes of abandonment. And for rail fans, it meant some endeavor to record the character of the finest example of the American inner urban. The Edison Court Station on the Skokie Valley route is in effect Waukegan. A pair of Silverliner cars has made the stop en route to Milwaukee. We are at Congress Park on the southwest side of Chicago. A westbound Q Suburban passes an inbound freight, again with perfect timing. Now the streamliner, the city of Miami, arrives. It is train number 53, and it'll load passengers and depart Kankakee. The lead unit is an EMD E8A. EMD E7A number 102 on the lead. Train number one, the Limited, picks up orders at J.O. Tower in Joliet. And soon, we get another surprise from the EL. Three original factory paint, black and yellow, former Erie units head this eastbound freight. As it passes, a J center cab returns from the EL set out track. In downtown Chicago, at the south end of Union Station, train number 31, the Great Northern Empire Builder, comes out of the station smoking up a storm. 
two of the cars and the train carry the new big sky blue and glacier white paint scheme. As 5629 moves into the station, another Santa Fe Fairbanks Moore switcher moves by. And shortly, train number 155, Grand Trunks, the International, arrives from Toronto. This is a Canadian national train. At Griffith, we see a Grand Trunk auto load train as it heads for Elsdon Yard, 